There's six of them. Unfortunately, you can only get six for that because it's gone way down to the nets. Should have been more. That was an outrageous hit, wasn't it? Just such a good swing. Right, so how long has he been doing this? <laughs> well, he's well, that's a very good question. I feel like he started his playing, I did, <laughs> and I can tell you what, he's still going. I, mean, I, I have a chance of playing, but uh, yeah, Afridi's been a phenomenal servant to the game, um, and he's entertained, he's entertained crowds, um, everywhere he's gone with his. Incredible all-round skill. That was the batting side of his skill. Uh, very few people uh, could hit it as far as a Uh He had an incredible uh, ball strike capability. Uh, I think I, I mentioned there about his bat swing just on that commentating uh, piece. He, he had a beautiful bat swing. Um, uh, you know, probably close to... Uh, one of the best bat swings I've ever seen is Yuvraj Singh. You know, Yuvraj had this amazing bat swing where he uh, he managed to deposit balls comfortably over the boundary for six uh, due to such a big arc that he had with that left hand uh, swing of his. Afridi, being right hander, had another he had a wonderful bat swing and an incredible ability to turn matches as well with bat or ball very destructive with bat but he could be the same with the ball as well right uh, why don't we see that moment again before uh, before we take some uh, uh, fewer questions <laughs> beautiful unfortunately you can only get six for that because it's gone i remember that happening to me in charge you're actually way back in 1996 <laughs> How long he's been playing? <laughs> Three. Billboard and then charger. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, in terms of, again, the, uh, the, the question from a bowler point of view, Danny, uh, is how do you, you know, when someone like uh, Afridi, who you who probably know that is coming after you of every ball, uh, how do you, how does a new bowler or how, how does a bowler who does not have an experience uh, so much experience. How do they prepare for that? Is, does he strike a lot of fear? Well, he does because that's Ravi Rampol, who's been around a bit too, to be fair. Yeah. And I think even then he was just trying a bit of a leg cut, uh, change of pace. You've got to be brave enough to do that. You've got to have all of those in your armory. You just have to have almost like three or four different styles of slow balls. And yeah, again, um, batter if he wants to and he gets it right, there's just there's no ground big enough. Uh, and you're dealing, as, as Mood said, either a Uvraj or uh, boom, boom, a free tea. It doesn't matter. Um, that's where, again, we come back to the Yorker. And that's why Malinga was such a great player, because he bowled a slower Yorker. And it was you're sort of waiting for it as a batsman. You, you're compensating, and suddenly it just went and then dipped on you, um, as opposed right. to maybe his out and out fast Yorker. So it just showed you with Malinga um, different styles of slower balls, Yorkers. You had to have a, such a variety. Um, but it didn't matter. Some days, batters, it just, it just doesn't. You know, you, you're at their mercy. And you can be bowling great Yorkers and they can squirt them out open face blade that goes to third man, or they get lucky with a French cut. But if they're in control and going, then you know, look, just just sit back and enjoy the entertainment. <laughs>